All these hack wannabe food critics have made my profession a joke. You asked for more fast food master hacks, so sit back, grab a pen, and get ready to take notes. Here are 10 fast food hacks no one told you about before. Part two. What are you writing? Drawing. Drawing conclusions. Straight A's can get you food. You earn that A++. Actually, there are four pluses. It's no secret that getting A's is something almost everyone aimed to achieve in school. But how would you feel if those efforts were rewarded, not by your school, but by your favorite fast food restaurant? At Baskin Robbins, they will give you a complimentary scoop of ice cream if you show them your report card. At Krispy Kreme, you will get one free donut for each A that you earned. That means if you got six A's, get ready for a half a dozen sweet goodies. Thanks! I, I promise to do my best! Now, as for Chick-fil-A, you can get a free six-piece serving of chicken nuggets or even a free ice cream cone if there's as much as one A on your report card. And at Wendy's, you don't even need an A. B's are just as good to get a free treat. Of course, it's not every location that will offer the same deals. A lot of fast food locations are owned by franchisees, and not every franchise participates, so it's better to call in advance just to make sure you don't show up expecting freebies. So the lesson here is always have your report card on hand so that when you're lucky enough to find a fast food chain offering this deal, you'll be ready. Free food always tastes good. Free drinks even better. Take advantage of made-up holidays. Now this is a holiday. Have you ever heard of Talk Like a Pirate Day that takes place every September 19th? Or how about No Socks Day on May 8th? The answer is probably no. Turns out some of these totally random days could actually end up scoring you a discounted dish or even an entire free meal. Take into account the number of national holidays that involve food. National Pretzel Day, National Coffee Day, National Taco Day, and even National Margarita Day, to name a few. Galentine's Day is about celebrating lady friends, and it should be a national holiday. While they might seem like totally normal dates, some fast food chains offer some pretty sweet deals on these days that most people don't even know about. For instance, on February 9th, it's National Pizza Day, and a lot of pizza joints sell their pies for much lower prices. In 2020, Papa John's even slashed their menu prices by a whopping 25%. On the 13th of July, it's White Castle's turn to offer free small servings of fries for National French Fry Day. And of course, for National Donut Day, most of your favorite places will give out free donuts. So take advantage and find out when your favorite food holiday is. Every day there is, is like Black Friday, it's hell. Build your own Big Mac. I renew my promise to love and cherish you forever. Ah, the Big Mac, one of the most iconic and popular items sold at McDonald's, right after the french fries, of course. With around 1.5 million Big Macs sold in the United States every single day, it's easy to see just how much people love it. However, it's not exactly the cheapest item on McD's menu. Depending on where you are, they can be quite expensive and sometimes a little too big for your appetite, especially if you've ordered a lot of other food to go with it. If you're tired of foregoing your beloved nuggets because they're always too much after a Big Mac and you're tired of paying more, worry not, we have got the perfect solution for you. Tell me, tell me right now. All you need to do is order a double cheeseburger and customize it. Just replace the ketchup and mustard with some lettuce and Big Mac sauce and let the magic happen. This item has been unofficially called a poor man's Big Mac. Okay, yes, you'll be missing the middle bun and the sesame seeds, but depending on the location, you could end up saving over $2 on your sandwich. And apparently, this knockoff has a better cheese game than its predecessor. The slice of cheese placed in between between the two patties gives it an extra softness that just can't compare. Things with fat in them taste way better than things with no fat. Yeah, quick. Everybody knows that. Ask for Subway's V-Cut. You ask, we make. How many times have you bitten so eagerly into your sub, only to have all the fillings go anywhere but your mouth? 
It happens way too often, and there's nothing more infuriating than having to rebuild your entire sandwich because it just won't stay where it's supposed to. Thankfully, there is a very simple, very effective way to save some time and some toppings during your next visit to Subway. If you want to avoid the mess, ask the employee to cut a deep V into the roll. You want the world? Eat fresh. Eat fresh! This way, it'll leave a wedge-shaped top and a more stable bottom to hold the fillings much better. Funnily enough, before 2000, they used to cut all the bread like this, meaning every sub was held together perfectly. But for some reason, Subway decided to change their cutting technique and opted for the straight-across cut. Apparently, the V-cut fell out of fashion because it wasn't the best way to cut subs with patty-shaped meats. Yet, it's proven to be the most efficient way to prevent messes. Either way, you can still ask for it to be cut that way at Subway or basically any other sub shop. Sure, you might have to explain what the heck you're talking about, but in the end, you'll be glad you did because it'll change the way you eat your subs forever. When I say Subway, you say Hero Subway. Hero? Order with the app. Come on, why is this so hard? Ugh, I'm starving. Nowadays, you can pretty much get anything you want with just one click of a button, and that applies to fast food as well. If you feel like eating a fast food burger, chances are there is an app for the place you're craving. Many chains have their own app and offer some good perks for those who use them. Special deals, rewards programs, and even scannable coupons are usually what awaits you if you order using the app. For example, if you download the Dairy Queen app, you can get a free small blizzard. Then there are the rewards programs from places like like Domino's and Starbucks, which let you accumulate points and eventually cash in to get free stuff. Get one free? Wow! What store are you talking about? For McDonald's and Chick-fil-A, you can order and pay for your food online while benefiting from discounts and coupons offered exclusively via the app. Now on to the free goodies. With Krispy Kreme and Jamba Juice, you can get a freebie on your birthday. And Red Robin goes even further. Just show up during your birthday months and you'll get a free burger. There are so many advantages to using these apps, and all you need to do is download and enjoy. I think I'm doing pretty good on my own. I'm simply gonna download the contents of your brain. The split and share method. There is one hope. Share your expenses, pull your friends into the black hole with you. If you tend to go on your fast food craving adventures with a partner in crime, then you might want to pay attention to this next hack. It might save you a lot of money. Usually, everyone orders their food separately. Makes sense, since everybody pays for themselves. But if you notice you always both get the same thing at Subway or Starbucks, it would be a good idea to start splitting the bill and ordering together. Do you remember Subway's $5 foot-long catchy commercial? Well, while not every foot long is $5, it's still a lot cheaper than ordering two separate 6-inch sandwiches. If a 12-inch sub is too much for you, all you have to do is split it with a friend. You have to choose the same meat and the cheese first, but as long as this is agreed on, you can customize your half the way you want it. Vegetables, condiments, it's all up to you. You'll each end up saving a dollar or two, which isn't a lot, but still worth it. The same goes for Starbucks lovers. If you when your friend usually order the same tall caramel macchiato with extra caramel drizzle, try ordering one venti instead and ask for two tall cups. A venti drink is 24 ounces, while a tall is half that at 12 ounces. It'll undoubtedly be less money than ordering two separate drinks, and this way you'll also save the time and effort of your barista, who will only have to make one drink. Venti is large. No, venti is 20. Large is large. Skip the meat. Where's the seasoned ground beef? The, the hand-pumped cheese? Hello? It's a salad. As most of you might know, in order to keep costs low, the majority of fast food outlets tend to use somewhat less than top-of-the-line cuts of meat in their food. If you're in search of a quality, meaty burger, then a fast food joint may not be the best place for you to be. However, if the meat is the least of your worries and you're looking to get even more fiber in your diet, why not skip it completely? If you go to Taco Bell, for example, it might not save you any money, but it might still be worth it in the end. You can easily turn your order completely vegetarian without having to jump through hoops. The hell can I trust a man won't eat a good old-fashioned American hot dog? 
customers are allowed to replace the meat on any menu item for either potatoes or beans free of charge. Not only will you ensure that no suspicious meat makes its way into your body, but you'll also benefit from the feeling of eating a little bit healthier than usual. In places like Chipotle, you might even get more than you bargain for if you decide to go with a meatless option. You like to eat your food with guacamole, but don't feel like paying extra? If you opt to skip protein altogether in your burrito, they can give you that green bad boy for free. Another tip, ask for it on the side. They tend to give you more on the side than if they put it on your burrito. Who needs meat when you've got free guac? Meat is what's for dinner. Freeze your condiment packets. Ketchup packets. Uh, Myrtle loves to eat ketchup packets. Show of hands, how many of you have a solid collection of little fast food condiment packets hidden in a kitchen drawer? No matter what you eat or where you get it from, you always end up with some spare packets you never know what to do with. Until now. Whether it's the soy sauce from your Chinese takeout or your handful of taco sauce, there are tons of ways to make good use out of it. For example, some people take these little fast food sauce packets and make even tastier, fancier sauce with them. Others make games out of it or simply integrate them into their everyday meals. But the ultimate way to reuse the packets? Put them in the freezer. Why do you have a bunch of condiment packets in the fridge? But why would you want to freeze little leftover sweet and sour sauce packets, you ask? Because they make the perfect mini ice packs. You can use them to relieve the pain of minor bumps, bruises, and cuts, or better yet, bring them in your packed lunches. Not only will they keep your lunch cold and fresh, but they'll also make the perfect condiments for your meals. By the time you're ready to eat, they will have melted enough to be used. Now you can add chilled taco sauce, ketchup, barbecue sauce, or even dressing to your sandwich or salad. It looks like ketchup, it tastes like ketchup, but brother, it ain't ketchup. Order coffee differently. You like this coffee? Yes. This is probably why you like it. Starting your day with a nice cold iced latte is definitely one of the best ways to do so. However, if you're an avid coffee drinker, you know how expensive it can end up being, particularly if you drink one every single morning. On your next Starbucks coffee run, to save nearly $2 on your order, don't order the iced latte directly. Instead, ask for a triple espresso on ice in a large cup. Then head over to the condiment area and build your own latte by adding milk and sugar yourself and voila, you've got a cheaper and yet just as delicious iced latte that you didn't have to pay a ridiculous amount for. Latte for Cecil? Now, this hack might not work every time, especially in times of pandemic restrictions. Starbucks is mostly only doing takeout, so the milk stations aren't open. Plus, if you order in the Starbucks app for pickup, ice and cold cups aren't options when you order an espresso shot, so that could also be an issue. But in regular times, this is the best way to save some bucks. In the meantime, just add the ice and the milk yourself when you get home. You won't even notice the difference. Thanks for the latte. I should have warned you that the reason I love that place is that they're known for making the hottest coffee in town. Bring your reusable mug. Oh, no, you don't, Jerry. What the? No more sucks for you. This one should go without saying and should also already be something you do as often as you can. The amount of garbage caused by disposable coffee cups is insane and needs to be reduced as much as possible. So much so that the government has even been considering adding an extra cost to customers' bills when they use these cups. A lot of companies have tried to deal with the growing problem of non-recyclable, one-use, polyethylene-lined coffee cups by developing recyclable cups and lids, but that's only a handful of businesses. Most common chains, like Starbucks, have implemented more drastic solutions. A discount when you bring your own reusable mug. Okay, all right, give me the mug, I'll keep the mug. If you bring your mug, not only will you get 10 cents off, but you'll most likely end up getting a little extra coffee. They charge you for the cup size that's closest to what you bring in, so if your mug looks like a grande but is actually a tiny bit more, score! Other chains like Seattle's Best and Pete's have also started to offer discounts 
accounts with smaller, independent coffee shops not too far behind. By bringing your reusable mug, you will help keep the planet a little cleaner and avoid the endless pile of old coffee cups cluttering up your car. Deuce, reuse, recycle, Rihanna! I'm sorry, ma'am, we can't reuse cups. It's a health code violation. Let us know if these hacks work out for you. Tap or click another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.